Hello, hi, and welcome to our video about PLC SIM. My PLC SIM interacts with TIA Portal, so I have a TIA Portal program loaded here that uses an S7-1500 controller, uh, and I do have a project that I kind of want to simulate, a simple, basic program. Now, um, first some information on PLC SIM, because it might get confusing. There are three different versions, which sounds really strange. Right. But right now, as the recording of this video, 2025, um, there's the date, <clears throat> um, we do have three different versions. And why and what's the overview and here everything I will give you there. The one that we will talk about is PLC SIM. Here, the main one, um, that's the one that I will talk about in this video. And you will get, you will find the download link down in the description of the video. Now, I will be using S7 PLC SIM version 20. There are many different versions of PLC SIM in itself. Um, I, I'm talking about the newest one as of this date. Right? Um, yes. So, uh, why are there three different versions? Oh, um, Yes, in the download with the download link, you will have to make an account with Siemens. There might be a problem with like um, I think uh, foreign countries, especially because the software is not licensed in all countries. So it might be that you have difficulties getting through the download process. Um, however, right? If you do, there are many different inofficial sources. If you just Google it, you can just download it uh, from many, many different sources. I don't recommend, of course, but if that's the possible, if that's what you need, then that's what you need. Like I've done it in the past as well through the not Siemens part. Yeah. Now, three different versions. First is PLC SIM simulating modules. We'll not talk about this too much. Uh, that's the one that is automatically installed uh, when you install TIA Portal. This is the one that you use for S7300 and also 400 simulations, actually, when you want to test your program. Right? This is the old one, not really touching that one. It is similar to the PLC SIM version that I will talk about in this quick video here, um, in that sense, as they are both for testing your program behavior. And that's what I want to do, right? I do have a program. I want to test this behavior. That's what the software is for. Now, the second one, the one I talk about, is a standalone tool. It is not. It is. It is communicating with TIA Portal, but it's not installed when you install TIA Portal. So you have to download it separately. Links in the description. Um, yeah. Now, this standalone tool um, can be started from within TIA Portal. I will show you in a second. Now, additionally to this, right? The um, this version of TI, uh, of PLC SIM does not need an additional license. Right? It runs with your standard TIA portal license uh, with your standard step seven license here. Right? Now there are, however, that's why I'm making the video, many different versions of this version of PLC SIM. Currently, I will work with the version 20 tool. Right? I also made a video with the version 15 tool, which, which looks different, feels different. It can do pretty much the same. Uh, of course, it has advanced a bit, but still uh, isn't too big of a difference, I would say, but still in the handling quite the difference. So that's why I'm making a new video about this. And then there is a third version. So the first two versions, right? PLC SIM simulating modules and PLC SIM, they are for program testing. They are your main tool when you want to. That's basically why you came here, <laughs> right? You want to test your program. You want to simulate it. Th those are the tools. And this is the main tool, of course. That's the one I talk about. However... There is also sometimes the demand to have your project communicate to other devices, for example, to an HMI, to a different PLC, to a server, to an OPC uh, server, and so on. This is where you don't really want to simulate your program anymore. This is where your main purpose will become to emulate, to emulate your S7-1500 hardware. This is necessary because it will get a network interface. It will have like the correct timing and cycles and so on. Like if you if you really need to do an integration test of your software in like a hardware, it sounds complex, right? And it is. You will actually need the PLC SIM advanced version. Now, advanced is again a standalone tool. It is not included in the standard TI package. Like it costs quite a bit of money, but it can not just theoretically, but also practically replace your physical PLC. Not recommended, but it could. Right? 
Now, this is the version if you want to really have your PLC hardware interact with something else, right? This allows communication. The other versions of, TI, uh, of PLC SIM, they do not allow communication to outside tools and hardware. This one does, which I will also not talk about in this video, right? But it's, it's those, those three different versions of PLC SIM exist. Now, disclaimer for the PLC SIM advanced version, this is slowly being integrated, or quickly actually, being integrated into, uh, into the standard version of PLC SIM here, and I will show you how to access it there. Uh, you will still need the additional license though. Three different tools, as I said, and you see I do have all three of those here on my desktop. Right, yeah. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Let's have a look. If I want to simulate my program, then what I, of course, want to do is I want to simulate this whole PLC. So we're always talking not just about one block or so, we're talking about the whole PLC. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> now for this, uh, you will have to uh, select your project first and allow your project to simulate program blocks. Now, this would not be necessary in my case here already, but with the more complex your program becomes, the more necessary it is. So the best is to allow your project to simulate things. So right mouse button on your project, properties, and in the protection tab here, you see enable simulation support during block compilation. If this is not active, if it's not active, it's actually a good thing. That's why it's off from the from the beginning on. Um, when you activate it, you are lowering the, the the safety of your blocks because now a simulation can read the blocks, right? Can read into your into your compiled stuff. So of course that lowers the safety. So when you're done with simulation, the best is actually to turn it back on to have that additional safety back. But right now we want to concentrate on simulation, so I will, of course, enable the simulation support. So now with the simulation support active, I can select my PLC. And now I could have two different ways. The first way would be I start PLC Sim here as a standalone tool, double click, and then it will open up. Or uh, it is actually integrated here in TI Portal. Right. You would need to install it, but it, once you have installed it, it is on the top here with the start simulation um, option thing up there, <laughs> whatever it's called, task, no, uh, function, it's called a function. Uh, now I could also go right mouse button and then also there would be simulation somewhere. No, there is not, doesn't matter, I always click the button up top. What is very important here is that you select your PLC. Right. If you select something else, uh, you can you cannot really like in device networks your project or so you cannot really simulate you have to select the device if you have 10 PLCs in your project you have to select the correct one of course which I will do now right. I will select my PLC sim I will click on start simulation when I start the simulation it will disable the other interfaces and this is important to know about PLC sim right the communication PLC sim won't communicate outside of PLC SIM. There is the so-called S7 online interface. That is the simulation interface for TI portal here. Um, so it will still communicate with other simulated devices. It will not communicate to outside hardware devices, right? That is where you would need PLC SIM advanced. So right now I will click on the uh, on OK, which will for TIA portal and for simulation tool here, it will deactivate the outside communication which is quite important to know. So I would say, yes, outside communication is now disabled. And now PLC SIM, as I said, will start as this standalone tool. <clears throat> and it will open up a so-called workspace. Right? Now this workspace right now is called PLC SIM video because that is what I have called my TIA portal project. And it will also directly turn, uh, not turn on, but it will directly create a PLC instance. Now this PLC instance, this is your PLC that is running. And you see on top here, it has actually, oh, that was, uh, I have to correct one thing on my slide there. Uh, that actually has PLC SIM soft bus as an information here, right? This is, this, is the in, this, this is the internal only communication method. And you can see I cannot switch over to the other two, right? I can open this up, right? Where the PLC SIM soft bus, <coughs> that's what I wanted to write here. My bad. <laughs> Ooh, uh, there we go. 
right? Now this PSC SIM softbus works with other simulated devices, but you see it doesn't work with TCP IP or outside devices. That's where we would need to switch over to TCP IP single adapter or multi adapter, which I won't cover in this video. Now to, to change to any of those other adapters, you would have to turn off the power of the PLC. Right? Then you have to select the PLC and here select a different license type and that would be advanced. And then you can switch over to any other communication type if you need outside communication. However, beginner's video, we will not have that. Right? So right now my PLC is, has, is like physically existing here. And if I go back to TIA portal, it will ask me, hey, do you want to communicate? Do you want to download your program? And you see, I cannot choose any other interface other than PLC SIM. I find my PLC there and now I will load. You can also not flash your LED because that's a hardware feature. We're simulating the software here. I will load, I will trust that device. Yes, I just started this simulation, so that is a trustworthy device, the trustworthy device for me. <clears throat> and you see, I can just simply download everything. There we go. And I will not start the module right now because I can also do that, of course, here from my hardware on, on the play button. And now I can test my PLC program. So I can go online in TI portal here. I can click on my monitor button and you see I can go online, monitor everything. So my program, my PLC is running. If I click on my stop here on the right side, right, I can, or on the top, I am now interacting with PLC SIM. So I can confirm, yes, that works just fine. Now uh, I will put both tools side by side now because for the next thing, that is what I want. Well, if only <laughs> Windows had a feature to do that, but that's okay. Oh, I can't really, you see, that's, oh God, I hate it. Uh, I can't minimize this more. Oh, by the way, if you click on the top here, uh, there is actually a, oh no, this one, it's the compact mode, which if you just want to, uh, want to run your PLC program like this, there we go, right? That is, that is the compact mode, that's the button there. I've, I never really used that, but there we go. Now, if you would have many more PLCs on the right side here, you can manually start more PLCs. Now, if they all use the soft bus, they can communicate. If there's hardware stuff, of course, they cannot communicate the hardware. Covered in a different video here. Now, what we want to do, of course, as I said, is I want to test my PLC program here. So I want to also turn things on and off. I want to control B1 as sensor, S1, a push button. I want to see if K1 is active. Now for this, I will enter my, sim view, my simulation views, sim view. And I can add more sim views depending on my uh, demand. But right now I will go to sim view one. There's always one pre-installed. Now in the sim views, you have on the right side, three different things that you can do. Simulation table, event, and sequence. In this video, I will talk about the simulation table. Events are hardware events and sequences are also pretty cool where things happen in a sequence. I'll talk about this in another one, right? But right now I want to talk about simulation tables. So I will add a new simulation table here. And in a simulation table, this is now quite easy. I can enter my, peer, my uh, tag names, for example, B autocomplete here, B1, right, is this first sensor. Then I have my uh, S1, which is the push button there. I have my B3. There's another sensor, I do have my B2, B <laughs> and I have my 1M1. Right. So I can load all of my text. I will show you how to do that more conveniently in a second here, but uh, let's concentrate on this view first. Um, and now what I can do is I can press the play button here, which will bring this uh, simulation table online, and now I'm monitoring this simulation table. And now, very, very simple, I can turn tags on and off. That's literally it. <laughs> I love that it says Boolash now. This is the German. There's, there's a newer version, PLC Sim uh, version 21 actually already out, which has corrected that little bug there. So you see, I can control my PLC there. So if I turn those two things on, then B3 needs to be turned off. Hey, look at this. K1 is now on, which I'm not monitoring. K1 is now turned on. Should be. That is true. Now, one thing that you might see if you have a keen eye is that the inputs will have a double point P next to them. Double point P indicates a pointer or a peripheral access in this, uh, in this case. So you are, you are pretending right now, so PLC SIM pretends to be the hardware itself. 
That's what the P is, which is okay, right? That's what we have. We're turning on the the the, the voltage, the hardware. Um, the, the, yeah, we're turning on the hardware input, not the input that is the tag, but the hardware input. Not too important. For the outputs, we're turning on the output memory, and that turns on the physical output. <laughs> not too important, but you are, you are very powerful here. You are more powerful than your program with this. There we go. Right? And that is your simulation table. You can create multiple simulation tables here on the right. Right, for multiple different test cases. There we go. And I can delete this again by uh, hitting delete, uh, by selecting it and hitting it, uh, hitting delete. Now, this is how I would test my program with the new PLC Sim version here. Now, additionally, on the right side, you will still see you have properties and you also have tags. If you, for example, I'd have a sim table and you don't know, hey, where are my tags, which PLC has what names and so on. On the right side, when you click on tags, you can right, select the PLC if you have multiple PLCs. I only have one, so I will select my instance one, my main PLC, and I just want to see outputs or I just want to control inputs. I will just select inputs and you see here are my four inputs and I can just click on them. And this will now automatically integrate them into my sim table. The same goes for outputs, memory, uh, tags, and also data block tags, which I don't have currently in this program. Now, there we go. So now I have all of my inputs. And again, because I changed something with this table, again, I have to go online or I have to monitor it. And now I can turn those on and off again. If you have, which I don't have right now in my program, but if you have um, like an integer variable or so, you can also add the integer variable here and then you can just change the value by typing in here. Right? You can also just type in the value that you want to have and then hit enter and which will turn this on and off. So if I would have an integer, you just change the number and that should work. There we go. And that's the simple way how the new PLC sim works here. Now, last comment there is this is now my workspace here, PLC Sim Video, as I called my project. I can save this workspace. Right? And the next time I want to use this, I can just open this workspace, which will have the same setup. The program is already loaded. Uh, the Sim table is already there. So it's its own standalone project. Also, the next time when I uh, simulate my PLC here in the same project, this workspace will automatically be selected, so it will automatically open up this uh, workspace, this existing one. Yeah, there we go. Quick intro to our new PLC sim here. Uh, if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe. <laughs> Fantastic. You will find more information in the uh, in the description of the video, like the download link to PLC sim. As I said, um, it can be quite difficult to download directly from Siemens, which shouldn't stop you, right? <clears throat> yeah. Just Google it. There's many different sources. But of course, the official Siemens version is linked down below. Good. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great day. Bye-bye.